boom and we are live and it looks like <laughs> there's <laughs> there's those of you that have actually beat me to the meeting what's going on uh again this is a follow-up from the previous video pertaining to getting started on how to shoot yourself now keep in mind it was a very very basic 101 if you will uh job in regard to talking about how how to film yourself so we're gonna go off that. In addition to that, we're also gonna discuss more. And for those of you on here, I see there's actually a few of you just looking at your names that you, you already know how to film already. So any further questions in regard to equipment or framing, lighting, um, et cetera, whatever else, let's talk about it. So I'm going over here. Kimbo, what up? The Beard Struggles in the house. Dean, cheers. Uh, Antonio, what's going on? Marcin, Cameron, let's see what questions we have so far. All right, let's see here. Get the character. Bro, it's too early. Wait, it's not too early. Sorry. I Come back to me on that one, Kimbo. Come back to me on that one, please. I, yeah. Um, Dean Gleason, TBS. Yeah, let's see here. Come. Okay, I got him from work. Now I put it on charge, so I'll see. Oh, so Kimbo, you're talking about the heated beard, the heated beard brush. Those of you out there, who has the heated beard brush right now? And also, uh, for those of you on here right now, who's actually smelt the new scent from the Beard Struggle, Viking Storm? Seriously, it's absolutely amazing. I, but I mean, there is a scent, Ragnarok, that holds a, a special place in my heart but Viking Storm is right up with it it's right there I at this point I'm just going back and forth between the two all right Cody what's going on Vinny step brother uh, Mark what's going on Antonio it's 8 p.m. in Portugal man it's a it's already getting rather late over there it's California right now it is 12 p.m. noontime Tanya wow twice in one day yeah so Tanya, I'm, I'm trying to stick with this noon live feed regardless of whether or not I have a video going. So I'm trying to hold myself accountable for that because I really do like what we're doing and we're actually, we are picking up traction uh, in, in regard to the amount of people that are on these live feeds. So it's so freaking awesome to actually see this community come into fruition and now it's not just like the beard or hair or fitness, but now we are kind of touching base with film stuff. And especially taking into consideration the current situation, a lot of us, I mean, we have a little more free time on our hand, especially free time in our hand, on our hands at home. And so we might as well pick up something new and starting a YouTube channel or getting better at creating content for marketing on social media. Those are all things that we are starting to dabble in. So that's what we're that's why I wanted to make that video earlier so I can help those of you out that did have questions but had no idea where to start. So yeah, and Tanya, it's always great seeing you on here. Thank you. Uh, Cameron, what are the benefits of being a brand ambassador besides the discounts? Excellent question, um, Cameron. So uh, we've gone in this before as far as the brand Viking community. So in addition to the discounts, you also get first access to new stuff. But now, you know what? Let's put the product aside. The benefits that you have are kind of collaborating with the other Vikings. So you get a brainstorm and it's a brotherhood that's being formed. So there's that rapport, that's that camaraderie. And you're also getting to have a firsthand relationship with people that have been in the business. like. Um, like the beard struggle or the other beard brand ambassadors that they have a huge following. They have a solid foundation and they're sharing their tips with you pertaining to if you are, if you are looking for info pertaining to social media and how to kind of, I guess, capitalize and make the most out of social media, you have those resources readily available to you. So to me, in regard to when somebody asks what the benefits are pertaining to being a brand Viking ambassador, that's what it is. You can't put a value on the ability to be a part of the brotherhood and a, and a and be able to collaborate and brainstorm and actually like 
I guess, progress. Like you can actually start a business, um, make money. You know what I mean? And not only that, what you learn within the community, you can actually integrate that to all other aspects of life, not just for promoting for the beard struggle. So that will be my long answer to that question. So Cameron, I hope that helps, um, helps you out in regard to that. Now, man, now that there are a lot more people on here, sorry if I skip any questions that you may have. If I do skip them, just go ahead and ask them again. But I, I've been pretty good so far on not skipping questions. So Cameron, so I've got that one right there. Kimbo, uh, videos to follow. Cody Freeman, uh, Vinny, so I got that heading back down. Ben, what's up, Ben? You're always on here, man. Super awesome to always see you here. Uh, Dean, it's it's an order. Uh, Beard Tings, awesome name. So Beard Tings, do you use a webcam or a phone? So as far as this stream right now, I'm actually using a camera. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to using a webcam or a phone, but I mean, being that I have the camera, the camera's gonna give me a higher quality than my webcam that's built into my computer or my phone, so that's why I choose to use my camera. And, and actually, that's a great question in regards to gear, camera, lighting, and whatnot. If you go to the video that I posted earlier today, I have all of that linked in the description box, so if you have any questions about that, feel free to check there, but I mean, I will answer your questions on here as well. Um, Castle, uh, Skull from Italy. Uh, pleasure, man. Cheers. Thomas Winterton, uh, I've got the heated beard brush. It's amazing. Yeah, Thomas, it's really, it's crazy the difference that that heated beard brush makes with the maintenance of your beard. Like, but I mean, so you can, if you want to have those days where it's all froed out, you can do that. But at the same time, if you're suited up and you want to have that neat look, the heated beard brush really does come in handy. And it looks cool too. Uh, let's see here. Don Kevin, 9 a.m. in Germany. Man, that's early. Thanks thanks for being on here. You have some coffee in hand? Uh, let's see here. Antonio, whoa. Sorry, it just jumped on me. Let's see. 9 p.m. Germany. Mark from Great Britain. And I like your stuff, mate. Mark, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate that. Troy, good afternoon. What up, Troy? Gleason, do you recommend releasing a video every week? Uh, Dean, in regard to videos on YouTube, yes, at least once a week because the algorithms will be to your favor if it does show that you have consistency as opposed to one in every blue moon. You're not gonna get the benefits of the algorithm if you're not posting at least once a week. So yes, great question, Dean. I highly recommend posting at least once a week. And that's when I really started seeing the traction on YouTube. I'm new to YouTube. I mean, back in the day, like a few years ago, like I would post up a video here and there, but it wasn't until this year that I, I told myself, you know what, I'm going to try to post at least once a week on YouTube. And I think at the beginning of this year, I had maybe a few hundred followers, and then now we're up past 24,000, I believe. And I do think that has something to do with the consistency of posting. Uh, Nick Neck, what's up, man? Uh, let's see here on Antonio, hey, for me, this hour is great. Uh, seven and see you guys. Antonio, pleasure to hear, man. Uh, Vinny, yeah, man, it's it really is in regard to the, for um, the Cameron, the question pertaining to the brand Viking community and ambassador program, like friendship, encouragement, like that motivation, the inspiration, those are the values, the prime values out of the, um, out of the community. Let's see here, Mensky. Good eye, Dane. Or, sorry, you're saying that to me. Good eye. Let's see, uh, Damien Hall, I think I may have messed up using the code when I bought some items. Any chance of being able to get the ambassador code for my social media, providing I show proof I purchased it? Damien Hall, great question. Send an email to the beard struggle at thebeardstruggle.com and they should be able to take care of you there. So I hope that answered that question. It's an awesome computing, Antonio, yeah, I'm like going further into that community. You said it's an awesome community. It really is, man. It, it's only been a couple of weeks and just to see everyone working together, working together, the brand Vikings have already put out a viral video, which was phenomenal to see. And then 
the Viking Masters, we kind of had a rebuttal to that video. But in all honesty, I think the I think the brand Vikings may have pulled out a win in that one. To be honest, uh, bearded vato, orle vato por vida way. Uh, let's see, Antonio. I've met great people from our brotherhood. Antonio, yeah, there are so many awesome people on there. So many tal talented people, and and those that just have like positive feedback, positive input. Everyone's helping everyone, whether it be making tools or the social media thing. It really is cool to see. Zach Gabriel, let's see if we make videos, can we, rather than just making dedicated video, are we able to state video brought to you by Beer Struggle or something like that nature? Oh, for sure, absolutely. I don't think there's a problem with that. And um, we'll see if the beard struggle, if they'll chime in as well to Zach's question, to Zach, to your question, beard struggle, check out Zach's question. If you make videos, can we say dedicated video, um, brought to you by the beard struggle? I don't, I wouldn't think there'd be a problem with that, but we'll see what the boss says. I see Dan Gleason learn a lot from the brothers already. Dean. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You've learned a lot and I've really learned a lot as well. Uh, faithfully bearded. What's up, Faithfully Bearded? Great to see you here. Aldo, um, are there any brothers in Sweden? Actually, I mean, that I know, I think, who is in Sweden? Is Daki over in Sweden right now? Who's in Sweden? Is Thor? No, Thor is Nor Norway. There has to be some Sweden brothers. I'm sure there is. Uh, Nick Knack, collaborate and brainstorm. Where? On the... So as far as the collaborating and the brainstorming, that takes place on the Facebook brand viking private community page so there what are we up to i think there's four thousand vikings on there already and so that's where we do all of our collaborating and brainstorming and from there we um private message each other and then that's how they i think it was like eight or ten of the brand vikings the new brand vikings they collaborated and they made a video together in a matter of a week in a matter i think it is i think they were only they had met each other a week prior and already got a viral video involving all of them. Well, involving the, the eight to 10 people collaborating together and it's already out. Craziness, like, yeah. It, that right there in itself, that's motivating to me as someone that has been with the company for two to three years now. Or been working with the company for two to three years now. Let's see here. So yeah, um, what did the beer struggle say? Whoa! We have a super chat from Stephanie. And so she says, reapplying Viking Storm to your beard tonight. So my girlfriend, Stephanie, she loves, like she really does love the Viking Storm um, scent. She hasn't done that, requested me to put on any other scents prior to this before. Not even like fancy colognes or whatnot, but she literally just paid me a $1.99 super chat to, to do that tonight. So I will be doing that tonight. Favor for a favor. All right, and so the beard struggle. They did say uh, reach out to the beard struggle at thebeardstruggle.com for um, things pertaining to the code. Cameron, uh, yes, thank you, bearded vato, faithfully bearded. You are everywhere, bro. Yeah, he is everywhere. Jack Gregory, do you think the company will be doing a sort of testing pack with all the oils in them, smaller size, uh, friends and family smell oils? Uh, Jack Gregory, excellent question pertaining to the testing pack. From what I heard, yes. Uh, boss man, I'm sure you saw. Yeah, so yeah, boss man did say yes, there will be testing packs. So that's awesome. Nick Neck uh, recently became a brand Viking and not too sure of any places where that would happen. Yeah, so uh, Nick Neck, are you, have you joined the brand Viking group page on Facebook? If you haven't, check it out. That's where most of it happens. Scott Nixon, how do we find out what our codes are? Uh, Scott, I believe that should be in the email that was provided. Um, boss man at the beer struggle, will you answer Scott's question if you haven't already? I'm just going in order of the thread, so I can't really see if I've... Wait, is there another super chat that came through? Because I saw that it's up to $5.20. You're phenomenal. You're phenomenal. Am I blushing? I think I'm blushing. 
Uh, thank you so much for those super chats. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? I should go to the super chat now. Oh, it was a $5. There's two $5 super chats. What the heck is going on here? Minsky just wanted to beat um, Steph's uh, donation and Vinny hit me up about streaming. This, this can help you. You're freaking amazing. Thank you so very much. And this will be going directly back into what we're doing here as far as building this community. Thank you so tremendously much. I'm, fr I'm so freaking stoked right now. Let's see here. And the beard struggle. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. You guys are so freaking awesome. Seriously, I, so I've I've lost my train of thought right now. Uh, how do we find our codes? Okay, so Scott, email the beard struggle at the beard They'll help you with the codes. Let's see, Mark. Hello, everyone from the UK. So there's a, there's a few people from the UK uh, in the chat right now. Uh, Vinny, how do you stream with a camera? Excellent question, Vinny. So. Perhaps I should make a video out of this. You know what, Vinny? I'm gonna make a video out of that, but I'm also gonna tell you right now, so live stream video. All right, so right now, my setup for this live, live stream right now, I'm using a Sony a7 III with a mic on the top, an external mic. You don't have to use an, uh, an external mic. And I have a Cam Link 4K USB cord, which is a mini, HDMI plug that goes into the camera and then there's a full HDMI code that goes into a UB, USB stick and that USB stick is plugged into the back of my computer uh, Vinny let me know if that helps you out in regard to how I have this set up. So it's I have my Sony a7 III. I have a micro HDMI, okay, that's what it was. So I have a micro HDMI plugged into the side of my a7 III, and then that cord is going to the back of my computer, and it's plugged into a USB. So it's a micro USB to a full, oh wait, a micro HDMI to a full HDMI that plugs into a stick that turns into a USB, and it goes into the back of the computer. Sorry, I hope that, I hope you could understand all that, but Vinny, that's a great question and I will be making a video pertaining to setting up for a live stream. Excellent. Let's see here, uh, Tibor, Tibor? Am I completely butchering your name? We're gonna go with Tibor. Is there, will be smaller bottles for travel? Uh, Tibor, with those sample kits, you're prob they'll probably be small enough for travel. I don't know that for sure, but I am hoping. All right. Uh, Carlos, uh, hello from Puerto Rico. What's up, Carlos? I've never been down there and I wanna go down there. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, we appreciate having you. Let's see here, Civ Gaming. Vinny, a lot can be done through Streamlabs, OBS, or just OBS. Oh, that's the other question. That's, you know what? Thank you very much, um, Civ Gaming. Yes, so the program that I'm using to do this stream is OBS. So. I hook up the camera, how I just said, and then um, I turn on the camera, then I turn in the OBS 24.0.6, that's for Mac, and then I press start streaming, but in the startup, I have a stream key that I get from YouTube, so I get the stream key from YouTube, and then I put that into the stream key on the program, and that gets it all started. Um, who was that? Gaming, where's gaming? Where'd it go gaming? That was an excellent um, follow up for that. I really do appreciate that Civ Gaming. Uh, thank you. Totally forgot about the software needed to do this um, stream. All right, beer teams, great. Uh, let's see, Scott. I can't log in for some reason. It tells me my account doesn't exist. Scott, I, um, yeah, shoot the beard struggle at thebeardstruggle.com, shoot them an email and they'll clear that up for you. Uh, I am beards everywhere. Gotta support the bearded brothers all around. So true, man, there's, and that's the great thing about it. Let me, let me just say, when it comes to beard oils and beard scents, I mean, just because you have one and not the other, it, it's all about, when it comes to the oils and scents, it's all about just, 
grabbing some from everywhere and just seeing what you like best. That's the great thing about it. It's like colognes. I mean, there's a cologne for every occasion. There's a daytime, there's an evening, there's, and with the beard oils and scents as well, there's just so many to pick from. That's why, I mean, don't just settle on one scent. I mean, that's why the beer struggle, that's why they have so many scents, and that's why other people have so many other scents, and that's the fun of it. Holy jeez, we just got, ding, ding, ding. We got a $9.99 super chat from Faithfully Bearded. Bro, thank you. You're showing up the girlfriend over here. And she just gave me the evil eye. But I think I'm just going to say that I think the evil eye was more towards you than me. No, it was definitely towards me. I'm sorry. Sorry to throw you under the bus like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and, and just like somebody else said, as far as faithfully bearded, so he's a part of this community. He's a part of every other community. And that's the thing. There's no need to kind of... It, there's no need to hold back, man. We can be involved everywhere so thank you again um faithfully bearded for that let's see here this much uh chris you're still looking thicker than a bowl of oatmeal as usual why was that even hid back let's show that um chris that's <laughs> uh you're still looking thicker than a bowl of oatmeal as usual that is awesome the beard struggle steph making it rain holla and i'll be making it rain later um with the oil with the oil on her butt um uh dean stephanie let's see mark bearded vato civ gaming hello everyone robert from ohio robert from ohio civ gaming again thank you so much for following up with that question pertaining to streaming 4k that was an essential key to being able to do the live streaming you have to have some software to do it uh jesse uh shy town tarzan here what tarzan i lived down in what right by topanga for a little bit so i used to go to the bally's in tarzan actually wait shy town tarzan you're talking about tarzan like la area right i don't want to sound even i don't want to sound more more stupid than i already am so yeah so if it's tarzan no that's tarzana i'm i'm stopping sorry i'm just gonna cut that one off right there <laughs> Bearded Vato, Stephanie, make him do dishes so you can <laughs> so you can keep super chatting him. You know what? I will do su I will do dishes for super chats. I'll just let you know. I didn't get an allowance as a kid, but I'll take an allowance right now. Uh, Kyron, uh, hi guys, sorry I'm late. No worries, man. We're you know what? I think we're gonna be here for a while. We're we're just gonna keep this going. Um, hello brothers, green for Poland. Poland, what's up? Now, as far as greeting from Poland, uh, Holy, I just passed out. I legit just passed out. We have a $50 super chat from the beard struggle. However, it is Canadian, so it's about $10 US, but I thank you anyways. <laughs> I'm totally just kidding. Thank you so freaking much. You, you're the man. You're oh, actually, you know what? You are the person. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kyren. And Kyren, the super chat. Holy, I almost missed the the super the five dollar super chat from Kyren. You guys are you guys are killing me, man. You guys you guys are killing me. Thank you very much. Now my pits are sweaty. You want you want me to show you the sweaty pits? That's what I'm talking about. You guys are you guys are like making me blush all left and right over here. Okay. Minsky, five dollar. Oh wait, did I already do the Minsky one? Now, Kyron, for all the support, help, and assistance you give to Kyron, thank you so very much. And honestly, it's my pleasure to be able to help as much as I can in regard to this community. It's seriously awesome seeing all of you work together. It's it's amazing. Now I'm getting all sentimental over here. My my am I tearing up a little bit? I think I am. They holy i can't keep up right now Vinny, bro i should be paying you holy jeez you guys are ridiculous man thank you so freaking much and again this is going all back into the channel all back into the community we're taking over like we're really taking over seriously it's all about numbers 
It's all about com camaraderie. It's all about a brotherhood and sisterhood. Uh, where am I at? I'm, 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 I'm losing myself right now. I don't even, I, forgive me, I'm, I'm lost in this because I shot down to the super chats. The beer struggle, you can, ginger beards. I don't remember seeing ginger beard reapplying. Okay, um, beard trimmings. You can say dedicated video. Oh, faithfully is in your, there we go. I think, wait, you guys, I'm so screwed up right now. Um, let's see, Beard of Vato, Kyron, sorry I'm late. So, okay, now now I'm caught back up. Um, Stays all over South Dakota. So, Faithfully is up in South Dakota. I had no idea about that. Um, Josh, excited to be a part of the Brotherhood. Welcome aboard. We're definitely, you know, I've, I've seen you on here. Um, Seth, a rookie mistake uh, from me too. Accidentally registered my Gmail when becoming an ambassador and not the ones I've used for purchase for the past, um, for the last year. Hey, happens to the best of us as far as that. Oh, and Viking greetings uh, from brand new uh, Viking in Denmark. Pleasure to have you here. This is freaking awesome. As you can see, man, we're just rolling through. Like this community is growing so darn fast. It's ridiculous. Um, beer struggle. You can say dedicated video, but we find it, um, we find better results. Um, when people don't, it's your choice. Okay, so the beer struggle as far as feedback, again and again, the beer struggle, thank you so much for your donations. Like you obviously don't have to do that. Thank you very, very, very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, now I lost this. Oh, so he said, pertaining to labeling the videos um, dedicated to beer struggle or uh, it's better if it's, I can see where, uh, the beer truck was coming from is better if it doesn't look like it looks more organic. If you don't say this is for the beard struggle, does that make sense? It looks more, just more natural. And it's more like it goes more so on your gesture as opposed to labeling it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't make sense because I'm confusing myself right now. Uh, let's see here. I am the only Arab man among you. Uh, Hannah, I, you know what? I think there's other, I, I don't think you're the only Arab man among us, actually. There's actually quite a few. Beertings. And, and Hannah, welcome. Let's see here, Beertings, I'm doing a review on Viking Storm this week. What's the deal with the um, contributions to cancer research and how does it work? Would love to include a bit, um, a bit on that in my interview. It's great, by the way. Yeah, so stoked on that. And what we'll do is I'll shoot you an email or the beard struggle. Do you want to shoot him an email with the details, or do you want to post the specific details pertaining to the uh, contributions for um, cancer research? And now, is this? Are you talking about what's going to be done? Or what the what we're planning to do on Twitch, like for for gaming and whatnot. Uh, yes, nonetheless, as far as the cancer research, we'll shoot you an email or we'll DM. We'll figure this out. Remind me. Uh, Cody Freeman, are there any brothers near me, South Louisiana? You know what? As far as Louisiana, Cody. So one of our our buddies, Chris True, that actually. He was pretty much like the key up, the, the director in Iceland. He's actually from Louisiana. Uh, Robert Jackson, I'm glad I was able to join your your thing. I came in a bit late. Is there a, dis, is there a Discord community or something of the sort that we can join to engage with others directly? Robert Jackson, excellent question uh, on Facebook. Uh, it's the Brand Viking group page. That is where we all pretty much collaborate and brainstorm for the most part and then we kind of go our own separate ways with as far as for example that video that was done they went their separate ways and made that video that pretty much went viral so the brand viking ambassador page or group on facebook that's where we all congregate um minsky so i'm coming through that uh five dollar super chat man so freaking stoked tank what's up uh 
Pleasure to see you, man. Gratos, for sure. Yeah, your look is definitely legit. So Tank over here looks like the God of War. Bald head, big ass beard. He's looking pretty sick. It makes me wish that, it makes me miss my shaved head that I had in Iceland. I'm gonna have to bring that back. Tanya, sorry if you just heard what I said. Tanya's not a fan of the shaved head. Uh, let's see here, Wild Thing Studio, Skull Brothers. Uh, Andrea from Italy. What's up? Uh, Beard of Vato, like the video folks. Uh, Jesse, what's up in Canada? Uh, our boy, our big, our big boss is up there. Uh, what part of Canada? Let's see here, GHD, what's going on? Beard of Vato, I like the way you think. I made him homemade lasagna last night, his request, at my request. You know what, I definitely, I'm beyond in debt to Stephanie. She did make some bomb lasagna last night. It was absolutely amazing. Seriously, I'm in debt. Let's not keep bringing that up, okay? Um, Beard of Vato, Italia in the house, um, Siv. I love the community, always great to talk to people about ideas and bounce ideas off people because they may think of something you never thought about uh, to help you out. And um, Siv, you're so, you're you're dead on about that. And, and that's the thing, you can never have too much knowledge. Once you think that you know it all, that's when you start regressing. And yeah, and so I'm, and like I've said before, I've been with, the, the company for a few years now and I've done editing and photo and video uh, for quite a few years and I'm still learning and with the brand Vikings I'm learning from all of the new brand Vikings as well so I'm super stoked like everyone is gaining something from this community <laughs> b52 your hair is short the most beautiful you know what b52 I do like when I do have short hair but I'm, I'm trying I'm trying this out for now, just just to do it. I, I just wanna do it at least one time, the long hair with the beard, just to say that I did it. And then, um, and yeah, and then we'll see what happens. Let's see here. Um, okay, bearded vato. Uh, Stephanie is a great balance. I learned to help more in the house as well. Yeah, you're right. But I mean, I do do stuff around the house. I take out the trash. I change her oil. I actually, I jump started her car the other day. I mean, but I guess those are things that I should be doing without being said. So never mind. She wins for once. Uh, Tanya, <laughs> uh, that's the way to keep him in line, Stephanie. Tanya, you and Steph, you guys are like this. One of these days, we have to all meet up together, and. You need to stick, stay in the middle though, because I just, I already see this. You guys are gonna team up on me and I'm gonna get my feelings hurt. All right, let's see here. Um, oh, come on, the beard struggle, another 10 super chat? How am I, how am I supposed to keep up with this? Like, I, I guess I'll just keep trying my darndest, man. Knock it off, I, I, I'm just kidding. You can keep going if you want to. I'm, I'm just saying, but but again, super thank you, thankful. I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words now when it comes to these these super chats. Like, thank you very much, um, uh, Tanya. Let's see here, Nick. I haven't joined the private group. Don't know. Uh, didn't know that exists. I will though. Nick, Nick. Yeah, so much to benefit from. Just like we've been saying. Uh, I can't wait to see you there, Vinny. Thanks, Minsky, uh, Wild Thing Studio, Lasagna. Tell your, tell your Italian friend about it, Steph. Lasagna, Lasagna. Tell your Italian friend about it, Steph. Oh, don't worry, she will. I think she's made like ten thousand posts about it. I don't mind. It was amazing, and it was and it was relatively healthy for lasagna. Being that I am trying to gain weight, Mark. Um, I like to send a photo of my beard. Do you think stuff I need bait? Uh, Mark, shoot me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram's at Dan's Beard. Yeah, <laughs> my Instagram's at Dan's Beard. Shoot me your photo there and I'll check it out. And for those of you that actually, I did, I, just before I hopped on the, um, the live stream, I noticed that I have a ton of DMs um, 
So uh, please allow me some time to get back to the, sorry, <laughs> to get back to those. Uh, hopefully tonight, or actually after I get off this stream, I'll start going through all of the DMs, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm beyond backed up on there. Um, and you know what, Mark, the other option, shoot me an email, uh, dan at zigfitness.com. That's the other route you can go uh, with that uh, with that photo. Jake just joined and wanted to say, what's up, brother? What up, Jake? Pleasure to have you, man. Um, how is everything? Uh, Ranger Nordic, uh, should I be an ambassador? Ranger, so, okay, should you be an ambassador? Do you have Beard Struggle product? Do you like it? If if it was a yes to both of those, then absolutely. And and again, it goes beyond discounts and free stuff sometimes and discounts to give to others and the opportunity to make some money. It goes more so, again, into the brotherhood, into the camaraderie, into if you are into social media and wanting to learn more about it and how you can fully capitalize, then it's of great value for you to join the ambassador program and the community. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me go back here. Just join, wanna say Skull Brothers, Mark, Mark Geary, Gary, Geary, what's up? Um, faithfully bearded, let's beat them all. Faithfully bearded, honestly, thank you again your, for your super chat. You're awesome, man. Uh, Kyron, for all the support, help and assistance. And yeah, thank you again. I'm just now coming across those again in the feed. Uh, the beer struggle. Seriously, you guys are freaking ballers. Like, honestly, with all these these super chats, you guys are ballers. You guys, you guys are doing a lot better than I am over here. Well, not anymore. So thank you guys very much. And again, keep these questions coming pertaining to um, photo, video, live streams, and whatnot. And uh, let's see here, Knickknack. I'm pretty dedicated to Twitch streamer. Any way I can use that in the beard struggle? Uh, the beard struggle, I don't know if you saw Nick's question or not pertaining to streaming. That's awesome because I was actually approached about the Twitch and um, gaming streaming and applying that towards the, towards the, the charity for cancer research. And I'm not a gamer myself, so I'm absolutely clueless when it comes to that. So that's something that the Beard Struggle, hopefully uh, they link up. And also, Nick, will you please send um, send an email to me at dan at zigfitness.com and I'll relay some information pertaining to the streaming charity. All right, Steph, uh, what'd she say? It was a healthy lasagna, but still amazing spinach, ground turkey, lots of spices, ricotta, mozzarella. Not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed with myself, um, as you should be. She's over there working behind me. Yeah, the lasagna was amazing. I'm um, definitely, I'm lucky, for sure. Um, let's see, let me go back to where are we at? Um, I think I lost you. Did I lose you? I lost you. I'm Scottish, technically. You know what, Nick? We we can Nick Nick, Nick Nick we can let that go for sure. Um, I'm Scottish AF, so technically UK. Minsky, I don't get paid it until Friday. Otherwise, I drop a fat 1K stack right about now. Minsky, <laughs> you are the ish, and I'm in the same boat. Um, in regard to that, Tanya, you are super popular today. Uh, well, well, thank you. I know I'm um yeah I'm I'm super stoked with this, and Tanya, this is. This is come to fruition from, like we keep on mentioning the Brand Viking community. So now there's a lot of them on this chat right now. And it's cool to see that the relationship that we already have with each other, like it's, it's freaking amazing. Like, it, yeah, yeah, it, it's amazing. Um, Andrew, been using Beard Struggle for a week, feels great. Yeah, it, it really does, it really does help out, especially with the texture of your beard and also as far as your skin, as far as keeping it moisturized. So yeah, definitely benefits in regard to actually using the beard oils and balms. And let's see here, uh, uh, Minsky, you well played. Vinny, see you bro every day, school day, thanks day. Uh, let's see here, Vinny, 
See, bro, every day is school day. Thanks, Dan. It, you know what? It really is, and especially on the on the Brand Viking group page, we're always learning, so that, and that's a great thing about it. Um, how to, B52 asked how tall I am. I'm six foot. And let's see here. My pleasure. Anything to help fellow Vikings? Civ Gaming. Seriously, thank you so very much for that input. Uh, doghouse. Uh, Mark Gary, Doghouse tonight. Doghouse? Wait, dog. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. That's what I thought. I thought he meant like a restaurant. <laughs> I, there's, actually, <laughs> there's actually a, um, a restaurant in Fresno called Doghouse. So initially I thought that's what you said because I was being optimistic about it. But now we're, now I know where you're going in regard to the Doghouse. So thanks. Um, the beer struggle. Uh, let's see here. So going back to the beer struggles, $50 super chat honestly thank you so freaking much and i didn't get to i didn't read what the super chat said it says all customer service related questions please hold back and email us um try to use the oh try to use this live to answer technical and video related questions okay so uh so the beer struggle says all customer service related questions Please hold back and email us in regard to this oh, customer service questions, but in regard to the technical uh, questions and the video related questions, ask those here. So uh, thank you for clarifying that, uh, the beard struggle. Jesse, Chicago, what's going on? How's the Windy City? I need to get a pie. I miss those pies over there. Uh, Mark Tyler, 18. Any advice of outdoor mountain biking Ant advice of a outdoor mountain biking ambassador? Sure. Come aboard. Um, Shane Haggerty. Hey, Viking brothers, all the way from Scotland. What's up to you from Scotland, Shane? I can't wait to eventually get out your way. I'll keep it at that. Uh, Priscilla. Hola from the Hardwick. Priscilla, what's going on? So Priscilla, a friend, a family member, we've known each other since fourth grade and her husband, Devin, has one of the meanest beards I've ever seen. So uh, yeah, and he's actually, so he was training for a bodybuilding competition. Well, he still is training for a bodybuilding competition. How old is Devin? He's like, he's like high fifties, right? We're gonna say, we're gonna say 70. He's a beast. Like he's goals to me, um, and yeah. So he, the competition has obviously been postponed. So it it sucks for him. So he's having to ride this awkward stage of just maintenance. Which if you've ever trained for a competition, it sucks. So wishing the best to Devin and his prep. I love you, Priscilla, Evie, Devin. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Uh, Antonio. Well, he's the boss. <laughs> Vinny, I think I did address your $5 um, super chat, right? You're freaking awesome. Dean, thanks for the inspiration and motivation in regard to your super chat. Dean, bro, I should be paying you. I'm gonna be going out to the comp, out to the UK specifically for you to clean up this mess. Okay, just know that. Coming to you, bro. Um, Michael J. Fox, hey brothers, dropping in all the way from the UK. This video is a godsend, thank you. Michael J., thank you very much. Um, let me know if you have technical questions pertaining to camera, lenses, audio, mics, lighting, whatnot. We're here for you. Mark, uh, just went on the website and planning to buy some balm and oils. Mark, great to hear that. Vinny, I guess you only get back what you give. True. So I guess that's implying that I give a lot. Um, uh, hey Dan, Dottie, what's going on up there in Canada? Uh, Kyron, uh, what would you say is the best way to film record yourself with, um, with a phone camera? Uh, so the best way to film yourself if you just have a camera, well, not if you just have, if you have a camera is Lighting will be key, and when it comes to lighting, make sure, wait, let me read the whole question first. Like, I don't own a camera or video camera, so I'm relying on my phone. Samsung Galaxy, okay. Yeah, so with your phone, totally capable. If you're doing something like I'm doing right now, make sure and get a tripod 
with a phone holder that will hold your phone. That way it's nice and steady and that the frame isn't shaking around. The other thing to take into consideration is being that it's a phone, it's not going to do well with low light situations. So find yourself a window or go outside. Find yourself as window, a window is best because then it's not harsh lighting. That, that way you're nice and soft when you're lit. Like right now, watch this. Here, let me, let me give you a little tip and trick right here. So this is me with no light on my face. This is me with light on my face. So lighting is definitely key, especially if you have that phone. So for a talking head situation, get yourself a little mini tripod, uh, get yourself a little phone holder. And again, you can get the whole setup for like, I think less than 25 bucks. Steph, what did you pay for your um, phone tripod setup? like 20 bucks. So that's an easy fix. You just prop your camera up there, start filming, or you can do it handheld. Handheld's gonna be a little shaky because you don't have um, any stabilization aside from just your hand and trying to hold it still. So you can get like a little mini gimbal, but that's kind of excessive because little gimbals, they can be like, I think they start at like $50. So just get yourself a tripod and that'll be a great start if you're filming with your phone. Uh, let me know if that helps you out. And, and a Manfrotto, I have the Manfrotto. It comes with both the phone adapter and the tripod for like 25 bucks. Okay, let's see here. Ginger Beard. Um, I'm from New Mexico, my bearded brethren. What's poppin'? Ginger Beard, what's up, bro? Um, Pug Pug Wolfcat. Hi, Mr. Daniel. This is Evie. What? Evie? What's up? Uh, so this is... My friend Priscilla from fourth grade, this is her daughter. Evie is on here. She's a stud, like she's so articulate and she's gonna be a star. I see it in her future, that's for sure. Bearded Vato, Dan, do you get your eyebrows done? Um, no, I, they're from my mama, bro. But seriously, I get that question all the time. But the one thing that I do do is I have a mean unibrow. So in regard to eyebrow maintenance, I just pluck right here and we're good to go. As far as this stuff, I really wish it wasn't as clean as it is because I get asked that question. Not that there's anything that, to having clean eyebrows, but I just wish it wasn't so clean or arch. But to some, it's considered a blessing. But to me, I just wish it was kind of like messed up a little bit. I guess everyone wants what they don't have, I guess. Um, let's see, Mark. And what's the beard score out of because I got a 67? And what the beard score out of because I got a 67? Um, Mark, please go into detail about the beard score of 67. Okay, let's see here. Siv, uh, well, it comes to, when it, okay, so Siv, let's see. When it comes to the videos, I would say do a secondary ad at the end or even start of the video and just let them know how great the products are and to check below for the 15% off and all that. So uh, what Sid was saying pertains to somebody that was talking about when plugging the beard struggle. Again, he says, when it comes to the videos, I would say do a secondary ad at the end or even the start of the video and just let them know how great the products are and check the check for the 15% off down below. So thank you for that feedback. The beer struggle. So thank you again. I'm going in order and now I'm seeing your super chat. Bro, seriously. I don't even know. Thank you. Um, hi from Switzerland, Switzerland, man. We were actually just talking about Switzerland last night. The fact that we want to go there, hopefully soon. We'll see. I'm thinking of shaving my head since the barbers are closed due to the lockdown. Mark Tyler, 18, bro, go for it. If you need help, I have some videos. Actually, I do have a video pertaining to if you want to check out what length your hair might look like when you shave it. I start from a number eight and I work all the way down to a full, like a big, a razor shave. So if you want to check that out, check that out on my channel. But yeah, I'm all for it. Go ahead and shave it. I think it's a badass look. Sorry, Evie, earmuffs. 
Um, okay, so the beard struggle. We donated 10,000 this month to testicular cancer awareness as April is awareness month. Um, BC Cancer Foundation is the organization. They will be shouting this out at the end of the month. So for those asking about the donations so far, again, the Beard Struggles donated 10,000 this month to testicular cancer awareness as April is awareness month. Uh, BC Cancer Foundation is the organization. There will be, they will be shouting us out at the end of the month. So hopefully that helps answer that question. Uh, Christopher Cooper, where'd you go? Uh, Christopher Cooper, howdy from a two year user and new Viking from Fort Worth. What's up in Fort Worth? Now, this one over here is always talking about going to Austin. I've, I've been to Fort Worth myself. I really did like it um, out there. I haven't been to Austin yet, so that'll be in the near future, maybe? I don't know. Promise? She said, we'll see, we'll see. She's all promise, we'll see. Um, Vinny, at the Beard Struggle, Bearded Vato, get a mullet, Dan. Bearded Vato, that's what she's saying as far as my hair. Like right now, my hair is a perfect, there's a perfect opportunity to do a mullet. I'm definitely tempted to, when I do cut my hair, I'm tempted to do that. So I'll keep a lookout for that. Okay, Denver. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have seen the heist, the money heist on Netflix, but yeah, that's Denver status right there. That's what I'd be going for. But my hair will be a little longer in the back. Um, Kyron, I recently just shaved mine off. Brother Viking, you should join the army. Uh, yeah, Kyron and Mark, man, the... And also Tank, Tank, he looks like a badass. His head is completely shaved and he has a huge beard. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, um, Pug, this is uh, Antonio. Um, that's dope, glad to hear. Michael J. Fox, amazing. My dad is one of the 95% that survived testicular cancer. So that is amazing cause. Michael J. Fox, I'm so super stoked and grateful to hear about your father's, um, your father overcoming that situation. Man, super stoked to hear. Uh, Tanya, would definitely love to meet up with you guys one day. Tanya, we're gonna make it happen. Like, we have to make it happen. It's inevitable. Uh, Mark, um, how does it feel? Oh, so Mark and Tyler are talking about shaving the head. When you do shave your head, like, there's a sense of alleviation that comes about when you shave your head. I. I guess that's the best way to sum it up. It's just, yeah, there's a sense of alleviation. I'll keep it at that. And when you look in the mirror, you feel like a, you feel pretty cool. Pretty bad A. Bad AF. I can't cuss because my friend's daughter's on here. Uh, let's see here. Um, Landon Turner. I was asked to be an ambassador, but I'm blown away that there are no butters. Do you know, uh, do you know any plans? Um, to offer them with the balms and butters? Excellent question, Landon. And I will be writing this down right now. Uh, beard butters. Because I have tried beard butters in the past and I do really like them because they're not as, they're softer than the balms and that's that good intermediate. So I'll check into that and I'll get back to you on that one. Excellent question. We'll see if the beard struggle chimes in on that. Uh, Mark. Yes, mate, and what's your Instagram page? Uh, Mark, my Instagram page is at Dan's Beard. So it's at D-A-N-Z Beard, all one word. Mark, uh, I'm in Nervous Sounds, pretty awesome. So they're talking about shaving their heads. Um, Kyron, Mark. Uh, Mark, what about applying being, oh, okay. So what about, uh, so Mark asks, what about applying being a brand ambassador to mountain biking and hill walking? Mark, if, if you like the, if you have the beard struggle and you like the product, bro, come on in to answer your question. Josh, probably going to use Instagram more than YouTube. Oh shoot. I just lost where I was. Sorry. So uh, before college, dang it. Sorry. I'm trying to stay in order on this thread. Uh, let's see here, going back to Mark. There we go. Uh, probably gonna use, so Josh Brewer said, probably gonna use Instagram more than YouTube. How long should my videos be, like roughly? 
Um, so you're probably gonna use Instagram more than YouTube. So on Instagram, if they're a minute or less, that'll be one for your main thread. If they're more than a minute, that will be IGTV. Now for a while there, pertaining to the videos on Instagram, they were getting a beneficial algorithm, but now they're not. Now, whether it be less than a minute on your main thread or IGTV, it doesn't, they don't seem to be getting the traction that photos are getting. It used to be the other way around, like they were pushing IGTV because it was a new feature and they wanted everyone to do it. So you're like, the, the videos were honestly getting 800% more views than they usually would for an ordinary video. But again, that's not the case anymore. The algorithm seems to be favoring the photos as opposed to the videos. So I hope that answers your question in regard to the videos on Instagram. Now, I mean, being that, now I know you're talking about Instagram, but as far as YouTube, for me personally, the longer videos seem to be getting a better algorithm and, and getting more traction. Like the, when my videos are four minutes or longer, they tend to get really good traction. But after 15 minutes, they don't seem to be getting that much traction due to a click-through rate. So I think I've that I think that sweet spot is around four minutes. So I hope that helps you in regard to the timing for videos on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, let's see here, the bearded Dane. I like that, the bearded Dane. Uh, I think I'll have to buy a Canon instead of webcam. Yeah, um, the bearded Dane. There's a tremendous difference in quality with an actual full frame or micro for thirds camera as opposed to a webcam. And it's kind of, it's two birds, one stone. So obviously once you get, you're saying the Canon, once you get that Canon, you can use it for obviously more than one thing for web stuff, video, and steals depending on what it is that you do with your camera. So yeah, and whereas webcam, just for the web, you know? So might as well, might as well get something that's a little more universal. Antonio, Mark, it's great to have so much of a photo opportunity in the mountains. Yeah, and uh, going back to Mark and the outdoors and um, mountain biking and, and trails and whatnot, I love the outdoors. Like to me, that's therapy. Whether it be in the mountains, snowboarding, hiking, shooting, or whether it be at the beach surfing, the outdoors are definitely essential when it comes to therapy. Okay, let's see here. Andre Hogland. Uh, well, hello there, Mr. Dan. Hope you're having a great day. Andre Hogland. Pleasure, my friend. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to see you. Welcome aboard. Uh, let's see here. Mark. Cool. I love hill walking and hill climbing. The beard struggle. Okay, let's see what the beard struggle says. Josh, one minute is the limit for short videos uh, you want to promote. Longer videos can be done using IGTV. So I didn't see that he already answered it. So yeah, so we're pretty much saying the same thing in regard to the videos on Instagram. Dean Gleason, that would be a great day, brother. Uh, now Dean's talking about to my going over there to the UK and I want him to cut my hair. I want him, I, I'm giving him the honor and I don't, I've never let anyone touch my beard and it's been years. Yeah, literally years since I've let anyone touch my hair because I've been cutting my own hair for the past five to seven years now. Something like that. So Dean, thank you. I'm giving you the honors. Mark, uh, just put a new picture up of me. Mark, Gary, I'll have to check that out. Siv, with lighting, if you, if need be, you can snag a really cheap lamp, if need be, and just use a LED bulb or something like that for a cleaner light source. Yeah. And, and, and again, uh, the video that I just posted, I said there are some people that literally pay thousands of dollars for lighting when you can essentially do it for free or a few bucks, whether it be for free with natural lighting or you pay a couple of bucks for an LED bulb slash lamp. So thank you for that, um, Civ Gaming. Uh, so Pug Pug Wolfcat XD says, it is definitely worth it um, in regard to investing in a microphone. She's a pro, she knows what she's talking about. So, and audio is key. So 
lighting and audio add a tremendous amount of value to the viewer with your production. But again, priority is content. Okay, Bearded Vato. Um, laugh out loud, you two own the Frida Kahlo Union brow. Um, <laughs> yeah, seriously, um, the, the unibrow is strong with this one and Bearded Vato. Vinny, uh, what do you use to edit your videos on? Great question, Vinny. So going back to this, I use Premiere Pro. However, I've heard great things about Final Cut. I've heard as far as uh, ease of use for the users, Final Cut Pro is phenomenal. Not only that, but with all of my Adobe products, they seem to crash quite a bit. So when I'm working on a product in Adobe Premiere, I love that there's a lot more detail involved in Adobe Premiere, but it does crash quite a bit, especially compared to Final Cut Pro. So like I was about to say, um, I'm constantly having to save my product as I work along, as you should with anything else, but especially when I'm using Adobe Premiere, I'm constantly pushing Command Save after I've done a, a decent amount of work just so I don't potentially lose it. So yes, so in regard to what I use for editing my videos, I use Adobe Premiere. Samantha, um, Samantha is in the house. Samantha, she is pretty much, can I say that, Samantha, can I say you're the head of customer service? Like this woman, her workload, I probably shouldn't have said customer service in this thread because we don't want any customer service questions in here. You need to send those via email so it doesn't cluster up the feed. But as far as Samantha, like the work that she does is absolutely ridiculous. I would never wish her workload upon anyone, upon anyone. So thank you, Samantha, for everything that you do. You the ish. Okay, Karen, uh, thank you for the advice on grabbing a tripod for my phone and about the lighting. I've just ordered a tripod from Amazon for $25. Definitely a good mood, a good move. I seriously, in regard to tripods, I have one for my camera right now, I have one for a light right now, and I have one over here to the side of me that I was just using to film. So tripods definitely come in handy and are a great investment. Stephanie just said she has a, a tripod specifically for her TikTok videos. And I've actually used that tripod myself for, because it's smaller, and so I've actually put a light on the top of that um, tripod and use that as well. So tripods are key. All right, let's see here. Birivato, Landon Turner. I was about to ask about that. Um, Vlad Christian, hey Dan, I'm hitting the plateau in my physique transformation. What can I do? Okay, um, excellent question. I'm glad to get a fitness question in the house. So Vlad, you've hit a plateau. What is your current goal? So I'll need to know that um, so that I can answer the question. And also, Vlad, feel free to send me an email pertaining to your fitness question and I can definitely get through it there. Yeah, so uh, my email is dan at zigfitness.com. Again, that's dan at zigfitness.com, which is a great place to get in contact with me if I happen to skip or miss your question on the feed. I am tremendously, I'm terribly sorry. So do send me an email. That takes priority over any other form of contacting me just because it's all in one spot and it's very organized. So yes, um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see here. Mark, definitely following, awesome. Uh, Mark, okay, I went to the email and I answered the quiz on there to see that I need to do with my beard and it gave me a score of 67. Uh, the beard struggle. Uh, so Mark, he did the email and answered the quiz on there to see what I need to do with my beard and it gave me a score of 67. Will you please answer that question? Oh, here we go, never mind. he already did. He beat me to it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm way back on the thread right now trying to get to everyone. Uh, Nathan, I'm about to do a full recorded step-by-step -step to get rid of my quarantine head. I'm about to do a full recorded step-by-step -step to get rid of my quarantine head. 
Nathan, I want to definitely see that. Keep me posted about that. Uh, Viking bartender. What's up, bro? Hailing from the UK. Viking. Viking bartender. When I go to the UK to get my hair cut by Dean, I want to get a pint from you. So we'll have to we'll have to organize this. Let let me know if you're down for the cause because I'm I'm beginning to start a little a little tab here with uh, who I'm. I literally just started it the other day with who I want to visit and where. So if if you're down for that, let me know. Uh, let's see here. Like literally just start. I have two names on there right now, and I said that because I I lose track. I know so many people that have that we've. Um, talked about seeing each other and I kind of lose track with that. So now it's all in one spot. Uh, let's see here, the beard struggle. Dang it, I just lost it, just lost it. Mark, okay, so in regard to that 67, the beard struggle, Mark, that means your beard is pretty decent. You should just uh, be using products for maintenance, beard, balm, oil, wash and conditioner. And now uh, the beard struggle, they just mentioned the conditioner I'm all about that conditioner. Like it really helps with the texture of my beard. And I guess just the overall look, like it doesn't have it as froed out as it is right now. I don't have product in my hair. I've just washed and conditioned it with the Beard Struggle product. So yeah, so this is how it's lined naturally. Like if I didn't use that conditioner, it would be everywhere. Uh, this message is being held for review. Um, I'll let the, I'll, I'll definitely let that go, Kimbo. Um, Viking Storm is effing awesome, brothers. It, it really is. Viking Storm. So going back into the new scent with Viking Storm, it's like a, so it's, it's literally smells like a luxurious cologne. It's, it's warm, has a woodsy cedar smell to it with a touch of sweetness. It's a fun, it's phenomenal. And again, she super chatted me just to request that I apply that tonight. All right. Uh, Kimbo. Let's see, Mark uh, just added you on Instagram. Awesome, can't wait to go into Instagram and check that out. Let's see here, bearded brush, uh, Kimbo, bearded brush isn't fully charged yet. Zach, what do you recommend for, holy jeez, we have a super chat in the house. Hey oh! I haven't done one of those yet, so who's that from? Uh, just showing some love. Um, Braden Anderson, thank you very much for that super chat, my brother. Seriously, I appreciate that. Um, let's see where I went. I totally lost it. I'm so freaking stoked. You guys are so freaking awesome. Um, where was I going? Just had you address it fully charge it. Zach, uh, what do you re uh, recommend for people? who were not genetically gifted to have a good full beard. I do have a Van Dyke style typically because my beard stays patchy as hell. Zach, so for that, we need a beard and emoji for sure. Now, for your situation, it's all about rocking what you have. So if you have that Van Dyke, rock that Van Dyke. And, and I, I do, I, I, I get that question a lot and it's just pretty much with everything else, um, in life, you just emphasize your best asset and just go with that and just rock it with confidence. All right. Um, bearded Vato. <laughs> bearded Vato put the uh, the bearded emoji. Uh, Butters is where it's at. The patchiness. Um, Brayden, right? Uh, Butters is where it's at. Kimbo, <laughs> nice emoji. Uh, let's see. Viking bartender. Dude, shaving your head is amazing. It's a straight up badass look. Growing mine out again, but no doubt we'll be back to bald again. Viking bartender, we have the same feels on that. There's no other feeling like having a shaved head. Um, Samantha, our bombs technically are butters. They're a hybrid. How about that? How about that? The best of both worlds. Uh, let's see here. Kevin, hi from Belgium. I need to still set up the uh, setup set up a mancer Kevin where are you at bro let's get this done let's get this done come join this community well you're on here you're pretty much a part of the community but you definitely need to set everything up so that you can so we can brainstorm collaborate 
and you can see what it's all about on the Brand Viking um, Facebook page. It's freaking amazing. So yeah, get on that, bro. Quit procrastinating. Vinny, uh, will the beer struggle be creating a shower gel? Beer struggle, where are you at? I gotta write this down. Shower gel. Vinny, as far as that's concerned, I have not heard, it hasn't con uh, came up, but I have it written down. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for that, sir. Um, Mike too. What up, Mike? Better late than never, you know? Uh, Bearded Vato, Viking bartender. Still have a full head of fur, but always thought about shaving it. I think look badass specifically with a beard. Kevin, or perfume. Uh, Vinny, a body wash gel. Yeah. Boom. So yeah, and also, so as far as what's to come, so a body wash and also skin care and hair care in the future. Keep a lookout. And with that, as far as the new products that come to fruition, the brand Vikings get first glance and the first opportunities to get it in hand. A lot of hand motions there. Um, Asger Keith, I've been working on my beard for about eight months now and my length is getting to the point I will be shopping for beard beads. Is there any plans to expand the current product availability for beads? Uh, let's see here, Asger. We are looking into skincare and hair care for the future. Beads have um, Asgard beard beads. We have a gold brass and white brass designs coming soon. So there are new ones coming soon in regard to the beard beads. I'm gonna have to put some beard beads in here. Save that for a trip. Douglas, what's an easy beard routine, and do you use a blow dryer? All right. An easy beard routine. I think my beard routine's pretty easy. Let's see if this cuts off my face. Can you guys still see me? Is this a bad look? All right, I'll just go here. All right, pertaining to easy beard routine, for me, personally, what I do, so I have the Beard Struggle wash and conditioner. So I do that in the morning or night. And then after that, I get out of the shower, I towel dry my beard, and depending on what I'm doing, Sometimes I'll go straight to the beard oil and then the beard balm in my mustache and I'm good to go after I do brush it, after I towel dry it. But here was what I was gonna say, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm straightening my beard, I'll go ahead and I'll warm up the heated beard brush and I'll brush it out. But if I'm not wanting to straighten the beard but just get it manageable, I'll use the heated beard brush just by itself um, without the power on. And the last thing that I do is I use the, the beard balm in my mustache to make sure that it's all together nice and neat. I mean, I think that's a pretty simple routine when it comes to beard care. Let me know if that helps answer your question. Okay. Oh, as far as do I use a blow dryer? No, I don't. However, I do use a blow dryer when I'm doing my videos sometimes because I get sweaty armpits. So I'll grab her blow dryer and I'll blow dry it with a cool air under my armpits. Is that TMI? I'm just being real with you. Um, Siv, at the Beer Struggle, oh, really, that's amazing. I would love Viking Storm body wash. Siv, seriously though. Like, that Viking Storm scent as a body wash, game changer. Not only main changer, but game changer. Move over Axe Body Stray. That's elementary. That's kid stuff. Viking Storm is where it's at. Should I use that for a commercial? I think I should. Uh, the Beard Struggle. Uh, they answered that. Asger, awesome. Beard of Vato. Dan, do you fish? <laughs> Beard of Vato just asked me if I fish. Funny story about that. On my... I think it was my 2017 New Year's resolution list was to start fly fishing. I bought everything that I needed for fly fishing and I have yet to go. And Stephanie always gives me crap for, uh, crap about the fact that I have all of my fly fishing gear and I've yet to set my line in the water. So yes, I used to fish when I was younger and I plan on getting back into it. 
All right. Um, and when you say, Dan, do you fish? I, I hope that you're being literal about that. Um, Kimbo, Viking Storm wash and conditioner, hands down my favorite. Seriously, bro. Uh, let's see here. Um, do you have... Now, here's my big question. I do some acting. Uh, so here's from Braden Anderson. Oh, wait, sorry. I just missed... 150 these days. I totally miss so many people's questions. Sorry about that. Let me backtrack. Dan, do you fish? So I got that one. Viking Storm. Okay, so the Bearded Dane. How to drag more followers from IG onto YouTube. You know what? Uh, the Bearded Dane, that's a great question. And that's something that I've I've dealt with firsthand with, with kind of... How would you say that? Not necessarily dragging, but kind of exposing the my my friends on Instagram to YouTube. It's tough because YouTube and Instagram are completely different animals, if you will. And and that being said, the people that are on them for the most part are looking for two different things. So there's many cases where Instagram very quick, simple. They just scroll through. There, there's no, th this is generally speaking, like it's just a matter of just scrolling through and the lack of engagement is kind of decreasing on that. Whereas a viewer on YouTube, they're looking for more. They're looking to gain knowledge. They're looking for insight. They're looking to build a relationship more so than Instagram. And not that on Instagram, it's not the same, but generally speaking, it just seems like this is, the Instagram, it's just very simple, short. That's all it is. And those people, a lot, generally speaking, the ones that are very active on Instagram don't generally do the YouTube thing. So th this is just what I've noticed. I mean, it can be done. Like what you can do is you can set up your YouTube video. You get the link from your YouTube video and on your Instagram, you post that thumbnail in your Instagram story, not on your main theme. And I say not on your main feed. And I say that because when you post your, that thumbnail or a piece of that video in your IG story, you can then link it in your IG story so that they just swipe up and go directly to it. Now, if you were to, let's say, for example, post that video or that thumbnail on your main feed, there's no way to link it. But you can type out or paste the link in in the um, the little description below the photo. But how many people are really going to take the time to write it down? Because I don't think you can copy it. So write it down, then open a new window, go over to YouTube or Google and plug in that link. You see how much work that is, and that goes ba goes back to me saying the YouTube the Instagram user. It's just quick. Like there's not really general, now again, this is generally speaking, so it's real quick. A lot of generally speaking, that that Instagram user isn't gonna be willing to write down that link and then plug it in somewhere else. So, <laughs> I definitely went everywhere with that. So, what I suggest to take those friends that you have from Instagram and um, link them to your YouTube is simply post something in your IG story with a swipe up that's linked to your YouTube channel. I hope that clarifies that. I was everywhere on that, but I hope you got the just. Okay. What's been your success? Uh, what's been your success growing your YouTube channel? I've been a slow growing lately. Now going into YouTube and what I've found to um, help with the success and I mean, I not success because I'm nowhere near where I would, where I see myself eventually being. Um, but as far as the progress, and I am so dang grateful for the progress that I have seen. Don't get me wrong; it's just man, there's just so much more that that I see in regard to this channel and and what we're doing. <laughs> so now going to what's helped me out is I think the consistency. I think consistency is key. We were talking about this earlier in the frame to where 
it, you should at least be posting at least one time a week. Now going further into posting one time a week, it helps if you kind of schedule it to where you're consistent with the timing. Let's say Tuesday afternoons, you are going to post something weekly. So not only is the algorithm picking that up, but then the people that are starting to subscribe, they're all, you know what? All right, he's posting Tuesday at 12 p.m. So they, so I know if I wanna see another video, he's been so on top of it that he's been consistent to where I know that Tuesday at 12 p.m. I will see another video. So again, that engagement, building that rapport will help to gaining that traction on YouTube. So I hope that helps answer the question in regard to what I think has helped me with growing. Again, at the beginning of this year, I think I was at a couple hundred and now we're at 24K, something like that. I don't know the exact number, but consistency is key. And kind of forming that relationship with the audience where they know that they'll know where you'll be and when you'll be posting those two things right there will definitely help with the traction from what I've seen. Um, Kyron, uh, Dean, you should maybe do a day for just the beer struggle Viking brothers to come over and get a trim and a haircut would be a good way to get everyone together. Man, that would, that would be freaking awesome. A big old powwow. That would be amazing. Dean, um, that is an awesome idea and the promo videos we could get the beer struggle would be awesome. Dean, that's amazing. We're honestly, we're going to make this happen. And I, I know I have, and you, and you're on, you're on my list. So I, I know this is going to happen. Brayden, uh, let's see. Lighting comes down to placement and color, bright white led mixed with a bit of yellow. Traditional bulb seems to be a good mix. Um, and I mean, if you don't have a, a light. Now this is going back to the light source Braden is talking about lighting composition content. You don't need anything fancy, just honest and engaging content that is easy to view and watch. Um, Braden, you're exactly right. Uh, Samantha, I got you. Thanks, Samantha, as always. Uh, Braden is going further into this. You can get a motorized gimbal type stand for your iPhone for less than 150 bucks these days. Talk about production value. Nothing steps it up like smooth pans and sweeps. So very true. And going um, going further into the lighting, and if you don't have a bicolor lighting solution, when you're videoing something, you can always set the white balance for the overall look of the lighting that you want to go further into the coloring. Uh, Mark, what's the best way you found to break bad habits? Mark, uh, for the bad habits, which bad habits are you talking about? Viking bartender, Beard of Vato, I did full Ragnar, um, had the long braid down the back and just got the whole thing shaved off. Had good reason though, didn't exactly want to, but I don't regret it. That would be a sick look, man. That's what I want to do. Like that's why I'm growing my hair because I want to have that look that you just described Viking, bar, uh, Viking bartender. Uh, Okay, Brayden, now here's my big question. I do some, oh, didn't I already see, did I ever see this? I saw this, but I got mixed up. I realized that I missed a bunch of questions. So right here, now here's my big question. I do some acting and I constantly have to be growing, shaving, growing, shaving, etc. Do you have a good way to fake a beard to look smaller without cutting it? No, and I feel terrible that you have to do that, but you have to do what you have to do. I understand, but I don't know. You can like roll it up or something. I don't know, but then that just looks weird. I don't know. That's a great question. Kimbo, uh, Nottingham, UK as well, Dan. I need to get out to the UK, seriously. Seriously. Uh, Mark, up for that when you come to the UK. Dang it, I just lost. I just lost my place. Mark, awesome. Let's see here. Viking bartender, I'm helmet down for that, bro. Let's see. Dan's happy uh, happy to go for a walk with you out in the mountains. Mark, that would be super rad. And that's definitely going to be the on the list for something to do. You know what? Mark, I'm putting you on the list. Let's see here. Um... Mark Tyler 18. 
Hold on one sec. I'm sorry, you guys. Mark Tyler 18. Okay. All right, so we have that there. And cheers. Let's see other questions. I don't know if you'll see my second comment. Uh, Vlad, I don't know if you'll see my second um, comment, but my goal is my max potential genetic. Um, same here as far as seeing what we can do naturally. That's what I'm all about. I'm actually an ambassador for natural fitness. And that's just my preference. I mean, I don't knock those that do use anabolic steroids or whatever else, PEDs. The ones that I do despise and think are pieces of trash are those that lie about it, that say, oh yeah, I'm natural, and they're for sure cycling. And being that I've gone to university, I know exactly who those people are. Um, uh, let's see here, I'm 84 centimeters, 50% body fat. This after two years of bodybuilding combined with calisthenics. Okay, so now going further into Vlad, uh, your goals pertaining to fitness, you're at 15% body fat, two years of bodybuilding. So in the grand scheme of things, you still have a lot, like two years is, is nothing in the grand scheme of things. Like I've been training since almost 20 years now. And my, my goals have changed here and there, but first things first is gonna be a matter of patience. Now, if you're at 15%, I'm, ass I'm assuming that you're wanting to lean out a tad bit to bring out uh, your definition. If that's the case, nutrition is going to be your primary concern. Now, I haven't even looked into your workout program design, being that you um, bodybuilding combined with calisthenics. So it does sound like you know what you're talking about because as we know, if you're wanting to be build lean muscle mass, your workout program design needs to be focused on hypertrophy because if you're doing calisthenics or if you're training for endurance, that isn't going to be an efficient way. That isn't going to be the most efficient way to build lean muscle mass. And I'm sure you know this. Let's see here. Um, I'm a new ambassador and will definitely tag you and the beard struggle in the video. I'll post to the big three Facebook IG. All right, Nathan, I definitely, I'm, I'm stoked to see this. And Brayden, again, thank you so much. I'm going through this and I'm seeing that, um, that $5 super chat. Honestly, thank you so very much. And then you've honestly, you've put in a tremendous amount of inf in, uh, like information on this thread alone in regard to lighting, composition, and the gimbals. And Gimbal Talk, thank you so very much for that input. We all appreciate it. Shane. Um, Haggerty, let's see here. If you're coming to Scotland and there is anything I can help uh, you with, let me know, brother. You know what? We uh, we might be hitting you up in the near future, my friend. So Shane um, Haggerty, and this is UK Scotland. Scotland. Boom. It's getting all scribbly. I'm not taking the time. All right. Uh, Shane, we'll probably be talking to you soon. Let's see you, Vlad. Um, I just feel I work out and I don't progress anymore. I eat right. You have my respect. So if that's the case, um, Vlad, going into, uh, so if you're not gaining as much as you would like in regard to muscle mass in the form of progression, because progression is rather vague, so... Um, what is your general workout routine? Let me know how many reps, reps you, so this is gonna be for a specific body part. Let me know how many reps, uh, blah, blah, blah. let me know how many reps you're performing, let me know how many sets you're performing, and let me know what your rest period is in between sets. And we'll go from there. Um, Brayden, let's see, Viking, any tips? Okay, so here we go. A Viking bartender, any tips on getting a beard to fill out more? I've got a long beard, but it's pretty sparse in a couple places. Use the products pretty much every day. Viking bartender, excellent question. A lot of times, like a simple tidy up, like a trimming, will make the beard look a lot fuller. And if the sides are really long, it kind of flattens it out. So another, something else that you can do is actually shorten the sides because that'll kind of give it a little more body. 
I hope that helps you out with that question. Um, Brayden, again, thank you very much, man. Um, Vlad, oh, and I'm 18. Vlad, bro, I hope you don't mind my saying, but you're a baby, dude. You have plenty of time to grow. Like you, I wish I was in your situation. The fact that you're already taking fitness in your physique, seriously, it, it, it wasn't until I was probably 24 to where I started actually taking my physique seriously. You have plenty of time, brother. You're gonna be huge, especially the fact that you're already you already have the knowledge and the awareness as of right now in regard to fitness. Oh, bro, you're good to go. The holy sinner, that is an awesome name. <laughs> the Beer Sucker Live, much love from UK. What up, UK? How many UK brothers are there in the house? Um, let's see here. Asger, you'd rock the beads. Man, I. it's gonna happen. Um, Sip Gaming, yes, Dan, I believe you should use that in a video, brother. Okay, definitely will. And and thank you. Um, Brayden, uh, Viking bartender, do you live in AZ by chance? I know a Viking bartender in Flag. Um, Gary Jens, hey Dan. Took your time on not trimming, so glad I did. Mustache already trained with daily brushing. What are your thoughts on dyeing the beard? Hardly have any gray, but two white patches on thin. Gary Jens. Super stoked to hear. Now, Gary, um, what I told him was that when you are starting to grow out your beard, beard, the number one priority is time. You have to give your beard enough time to kind of show what it's going to be into. And I suggest anywhere around six to eight weeks before you touch it, because when we touch it, we either screw up or get carried away and we end up shaving off our beard and starting from scratch. So patience is key. And as you're letting it grow out, depending on what you want to do for your mustache, you can either separate it with your fingers or you can brush it with a, with a brush and that'll help train it to not go over your lip, depending on where you want to go with that. Um, now, as far as um, dyeing your beard, just for men works great. There's also some powders out there, but I for one am a proponent of just embracing what we have because I think the grays and the whites, I think they add character to the beard. All right, Mark, Ty bad habits as in a diet lifestyle. Okay, uh, Mark Tyler, thank you for clarifying on that. So as far as what to do in order to help prevent bad habits, just don't do them. Honestly, like, that's what I come to find. It's, it's all, you know what? Okay, I will answer that. Always have your end goal in mind. Whatever it takes for you to always be conscious of what your goal is that you want to achieve, build a relationship with that goal. That way, it's not just a hypothetical situation. That way, you're not just saying it and forget about it. You write it down. You build that relationship with your goal. You post it somewhere that you will see every day. And that's how you prevent bad habits from occurring. Now, so there's that option. And also if it's bad habits in regard to diet and nutrition, when it comes to that, if it's not around, you won't eat it. That being said, whatever you buy from the store and have in your house, it should be healthy if that's what you're going for. So that way you're not kind of falling victim to temptation. So another thing that'll help with nutrition, only have healthy foods available. Um, Brayden, thanks for the info and answers, Dan. Brayden, my pleasure. And again, I thank you for the super chat and every and all the input that you've you've helped contribute to this chat. You're awesome. Uh, Michael J. Fox, when you come visit the UK, you should come to which church and we can have a pint. Which church? Okay, that'll be freaking awesome. So Michael J. Fox, which church for a pint? I'm getting stoked about this UK thing, man. I want this to be the next trip. She wants something tropical or or Austin. I want the UK. Those are completely two I know they're different, but UK is different from them all. Don't back talk me, woman. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, uh, Viking bartender. I'm always down for a meetup with some fellow bearded men. Uh, 
Mark Gary, you should come to Kings and man, there's so many Nor so Norfolk, UK. There's so many places. Viking trip to UK. We had a Viking takeover from Hampshire, UK down south. Vlad, I already started. Cool. Um, so Vlad, reps. So six to twelve. So if you're wanting to gain size after you do those warm-up sets, I would keep your rep range to around that six to eight rep range. Now, when I say rep range, I mean that you can't perform any more than six to eight reps per set. So you need to be using a weight to where you're literally failing at six to eight reps. A lot of people that say, okay, all right, I just did my six to eight, so I should see all these gains. No, you need to be struggling and you need to have it to where you're physically not capable of performing any more than six to eight reps per set in order to be efficient with your lean mass gains, okay? And either use a machine or have a spotter, but you should be failing. If you aren't failing, you aren't putting 100% effort into each one of your reps. Every single rep is just as important as every other rep. Every set is just as important as every other set. If you aren't giving 110%, you're not gonna be as efficient as possible. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's see here. Um, Brayden, how do I make it onto your list, bud? I'm a registered ambassador and love this community. Just subbed and follow you too. Stoked, brother. Um, so I will be going to, I need to get, I need to schedule a time to where I will be on the, um, on the Facebook feed so that we all know when we're gonna be on there. But stoked, I'll be looking for you, Brayden. Uh, so Vlad, so sets, three to four sets. So if you've been training for a couple of years, let's bump up the sets to four to six sets um, per exercise. And your rest period is actually phenomenal. That's good that you're giving yourself a minute to 30 seconds to three minutes in between sets. That way your body is fully recovered from the previous set. That means you have the most potential energy to put forth towards work for your next set. Uh, Vinny, my wife said, if you guys are going to Scotland, she wants to come. We are just hours away in a car from Liverpool. I said it might be dangerous being in the presence of big Viking men. <laughs> Vinny, that's awesome. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about that in the near future. Most likely, hypothetically, I'm thinking. Uh, let's see, we're up at 137. So I'm gonna get through the questions that are right here and I think we're gonna end this pretty soon. Uh, let me see, I've gained 16 um, kilograms pure muscle mass from January, 2018. I think I can do more, sorry to bad I much love Romania. Your, your word is gold, you are right. Vlad, man, bro. You're on a mission, you're progressing. You have all the time in the world right now and you're making it happen. So I'm super stoked for you. I'm actually envious of your situation. Beard of Vato, did you get to try that um, Baijin beard diet? I haven't yet and I have it written on the list because I want to do a review and a video on that. And again, I thank you for that. And so that'll be coming in the near future. I haven't got it yet. I've been focused on this, uh, the brand Viking community getting this all situated and going. So that's where my head's been at, at as of late. Okay, I uh, used to dye my beard when I started getting grays, but the ladies kept saying a bit of salt and pepper actually looks great. I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, and Stephanie agrees. I've heard that more than anything else. Natural is the way to go. Patchy, gray, rock it. Exactly, it's all about rocking it with confidence. Okay, thank you for the advice. You're welcome, Mark Tyler. Um, Kyron, um, are you from which one? Okay, Chris, hey, from the UK again. Stoked, managed to catch another live stream. Uh, took your advice from last stream and DM and join the brand community. I've changed my tag to um, Bartle is my name. You know what? I think, I, I think I've think i seen your uh, your name on Instagram. Uh, Dottie Pie, hey Dan, check out Techno Viking and tell me what you think. Will do, I think I've heard that name before. Dan, you gotta do a workout topic live, bro. Um, Bearded Vato. Perhaps next week we'll do a workout live stream. I like that. 
uh, Magnetic Freeze. I found your channel by just searching up hair clippers. Thanks for sacrificing your hair to show us all the different clipper sizes. Man, my pleasure. I'm stoked to do it to you. Yeah, especially with this current situation, having that clipper guide. I mean, there are so many people that right now that are wanting to um, cut their own hair. It, it's definitely coming in handy, and I'm stoked to hear the feedback about it. Vlad, thank you for very much. Vlad, my pleasure. Samantha, keep the salt and pepper so she's all about it. And with that said, that's I went through the entire feed in regard to the questions, and we're at an hour and 40 minutes. So I am going to bid you adieu. And as always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, please go ahead and this is my outro for my regular video, so I won't do that here. But anyways, uh, let's see here. Oh, we'll close up. Yeah, man, uh, we had a chat on DM. Yep, we did. Um, Tanya, sometimes when guys dye their beards, they, l they look fake, keep it natural. Yeah, so everyone is all about the natural. So yeah, you might think grays, I'm getting old, this and that. Get past that, people dig the natural look. It adds character. Robert Jackson, thanks for this uh, thing, brother. Uh, good luck with the lady in your comment earlier. <laughs> I need all the luck that I can get. Uh, Dan Gleason, take it easy, big guy. All right, you guys, thank you so very much. Your guys is the super chats. Thank you so freaking much. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that and I am entirely grateful for that. And we're gonna put that right back into this channel. Yeah, love you guys. Peace, we out.